I would like you, and I've seen um, Kiwi Skirt put it in the chat there a few times, to go and follow Mountain Tui because Mountain Tui does some great work and Mountain Tui ha currently has 177 subscribers. We could easily get that to 500 off this video. So go and subscribe to um, Mountain Tui and tell them BHN sent you. And, uh, and, I'll, and if, you're, if you're thinking, oh, maybe, maybe not, well, let me give you a little bit of Mountain Tui uh, experience as to the kind of the content they put out. You are making some choices about what to spend money on, and it's all kinds of other stuff. It's roads, it's tobacco tax carts, it's stuff for, for landlords. And when it comes to something that Kiwis fundamentally care about, which is oh, health, I disagree. You can't I disagree. Do it. We put almost thirty billion dollars a year into health. We put sixteen or seventeen billion dollars extra in the most spent ever going into health. So there's plenty of money in health. So what I have to do now, Emma, just to explain to you and to others, is we do have audio podcasters that listen. So I will read out the text not because I need to be involved, but just because people who are listening to the audio podcast won't be able to read this. And this uh, video, by the way, is called NZPM Chris Luxon. I'm wealthy and I'm sorted. And the text says, what Luxon is not telling you. Lowest health spend per capita in a century. Health spend plus 2.9%, inflation plus 3.3%. A population increase plus 2.6 percent net increase insufficient i'm not reading that lowest health funding in new zealand if it walks like austerity and talks like austerity it's austerity headline from social issues on dunedin hospital well, we've got we've got a lot to do in terms of building out that infrastructure. Uh, hospital infrastructure is a part of that. We've also got good money coming in, but you just can't have a project go from one point two billion. You know, when it started, you can't have it heading out to three billion dollars. Um, and you know, even at one point nine, it'll be amongst one of the most expensive I, hospitals. I the three billion dollar figure includes uh, out of scope items and has been debunked that's true some of those out of scope items included refurbishing the old hospital which has gone uh, a car park and like a, a a lab a place that they like southern labs currently do that as a private in entity and then there's more conversations here. Radich called the reporter so, uh, smoke screaming. He's the mayor of Dunedin on debt. This is what yeah. he said. How are you going to get us out of the structural deficit? Well, I just say we have to get out of the structural deficit. We've been on a massive uh, binge uh, and we have to have a little bit of a diet to get the books back in order. The government ignored advice not to borrow 12 billion more for tax cuts. New Zealand's government and net debt is still one of the lowest in the OECD, as we just heard. The government is spending big on landlords, roads, private schools, tobacco companies, trusts. On working from home. Are you surprised by the level of resistance to sending the public servants back to work? Um, well, <laughs> um, no, not really, but... Uh, you were expecting this? Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I get it, people may not like it, but the point is, that's what's going to happen. Uh, you, when are you going to give me my minimum days they have to be back? That's what I want. Yeah. Well, we want, uh, the starting point needs to be you're in the office, and then if you have formal arrangements, that's formally agreed, it's not an entitlement. So are you saying one. to me right now, it's five days in the office, unless you've got some, some permission not to be there? Yep, correct. Our Premier House. Moved into Premier House yet? Moved in on the weekend. Is finally. it cold? Uh, well, <laughs> God, be honest. I mean, it's drafty and ancient. Well, it's we, it, we finally managed to get new paint, uh, new yeah. curtains, and new carpet. That's what the work has been. Yeah. I'd like to remind people that uh, Jacinda Ardern lived in that house with a newborn child for mm. five and a half years and found it just fine. But old Sea Lux wasn't good enough for Those us. Those three things aren't even going to part start. of the house. Say again, Emily. Those like, three three things aren't even going to stop the drafts. <laughs> Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, which is, it was last time when Jim Bolger was there in 1990. Yes. So the carpet had been stretched, I think, seven times, pretty th threadbare, but we managed to get that approved to, to get that spent. And are you cold? Um, uh, <laughs> I've got a nice jumper. It's all good. <laughs> does he even live in it? Does he actually live in it? On his wealth. Yeah, he does now. I don't need the apartment. So I'm saying he, um, yeah, he's about to say he, he lives in it now because he sold his apartment and made half a million dollars tax free because his government just changed the bright line laws that enabled him yep. to do that. So, exactly. Uh, so, yep. this is him talking on his wealth. I don't need the apartment, so I'm selling it. So, that's what John Key did when he became Prime Minister. And sold his how apartment. do you feel about the fact that it was all over the TV news last night? I haven't met you. Well, made. I've come to expect that. Um, yeah, which is, is a bit well, weird. I can't, well, I can't. 
I mean, the, the bottom line, as I said right from the beginning of my first day in politics, you know, yep, I'm a kid whose parents left school at 16, I went to university, did well in the world, successful, get it, right? And I've chosen to come to politics because I want to add back to New Zealand. So that's my reason for it. But if, if we're going to criticise people for being successful and, um, you know, let's be clear, you know, I'm, I'm wealthy, I'm, you know, sorted. Mm. Yes. Mm. I if wonder he wants how to give his, back, he would do it differently. I don't know. I, I wonder how his PR team felt about him saying that, and what, do they all do that face slap thing? Yeah, they're all just like, not great, yep. not great. So come on, uh, come on, Farno. Uh, Mountain Tui needs some support. Uh, already gone up by about 100 subscribers. I reckon right now there's 715 people watching. We can go to Mountain Tui. We should be able to get that to 500 subscribers with this off this video whether it's you guys watching live or if you're watching on demand later on go and sub to mountain tui and make sure you tell them that bhn sent you over there